Probably close to 300 thou. Keep your fuck ups to yourself. Let's print this bitch. A real moment of truth. It makes me so supremely happy to have a project file called AK50 on my laptop. You have no idea. Once we get this camming lug done, we could fire this gun. Here's where the fun begins. I'm splitting you guys into two teams. You guys have 48 hours to roughly figure this out. What we're doing right now is getting all of our computers up and running, getting all of our measurements um, so we can just kind of make the parts and then work on it from there, um, getting the cam groove and uh, the cam itself all set up so it's correct. So if you can't connect and you're, you're still having issues with that, um, I can let you borrow my computer in the meantime because that, okay, I can't promise it's fast and I can't promise it's good, but it has SolidWorks on it. Okay, let's go do that then because I can't get on SolidWorks for the time being. That, yeah, that sucks. Let me, let me go ahead and grab it. Uh, this, this one. Now CAD is an acronym. It stands for Computer Aided Design. What that does is allow us to take a concept and turn it into a 3D workable model in the computer, which from there we can 3D print it and eventually make it something in the real world. So this is exactly, this is what we are looking at. This is a, uh, you know, uh, accommodating for the 10th thou that we're putting in there for Dwell. Uh, it has a 10th thou in the back for locking. So, oh, do we have an overall length for yes, this now? Yes, yes, exactly. Yep. Passenger side, driver side, that's looking at it like that, so. Driver side, passenger side, I got you. Because we got the point right. two seven. Well, I guess I don't have the length from there to there, but I have yeah, everything off of the front of this. Yeah, that's precisely what I was thinking about. Yeah, that's perfect. And it's just straight, we're gonna add some, uh, you know, some curves to it, probably. But the less curves, the better, because they're easier to machine. That is, you know what the diameter is that it, of that is? Watch this. Look at this. Of the yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Where I just figured out what the diameter is. Give me the, give me the I'm stuck in purgatory right now. It's it's just got like one like eighteen of the way to go. It's just not doing it. So we're coming with like the most nerdy space camp ass sounding solution ever, but it's going to be like a, okay, no miking and no CAD from the time of 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you come up with shit, it's pretty stupid to say that you can't share it, because I know you I mean, if you care enough, you're just going to text you, do whatever anyway. Not working on it in CAD and not doing all that stuff, that way people can eat and sleep and shit. That's fair. Cool. This one of guys is going all the way back up to the car book. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's got to grab a computer and he's bringing it back down. So I forgot my computer, so I'm about to drive three hours back up to Norfolk, then tomorrow morning another three hours down here to do another nine hours of CAD work to eventually go to sleep, or we're going to pull an all-nighter and I'm just going to be up all night, so let's go on with that. I'll try skipping leg day and looking up the stairs with this thing. We don't really care about the curve up. If the, if we get the curve up, that's fine. It's Gucci gang. Although I do I do want enough that I can put the bolt in and make sure that that curve that uh, right. cylinder doesn't affect with the the bolt. All right, ready? Affect with the what? That's not words. Interface. Like, or interfere. Uh, interfere. Yeah. Can run into forty three minutes. That's not that bad. That's no, not. Two hundred eighty six layers. Wait, only 43 minutes? That's actually Yeah. Good. But I think for what we were given, we did extremely well. We had Eric, who has a bit more technical experience. He was a man behind the mouse most of the time, actually, for making the model. He also has good knowledge on how other guns work. This one, it's kind of tricky because the roller itself is flushed up. Real quick, the pin itself that goes in the bolt is going to be a quarter inch. Yes. So with the given criteria of having to use a roller for the unlocking mechanism, the AK-50, my team and I decided to mirror the roller of an M1A. Doing Us gave us the guidance on the roller diameter, the depth of the track, and on the geometry of the cam groove that would be ultimately incorporated into our cam plate. So the, the, the pin that goes through the bolt is a quarter, and then the roller on top is going to be like 0.4. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. Yeah. We have Caleb who has lots of hands-on experience, so he would always help us out and talk about what is possible as a machine. This top-down view of it 
cut out because we can make the camera groove longer anytime. Wait, where's the uh, top? Okay, Ooh, yeah. I, I just realized my second fuck up. Hold, hold on. Keep your fuck ups to yourself okay, for a second. Right, right. I think another thing I've been taught really well was how to adapt a new system like our parts into a pre existing system such as the bolt carrier that Brandon already had. The M1A, I believe, is uh, short stroke, right? Short stroke aspect? Yeah. Uh, the dwell may be different for the M1A, especially with the barrel length comparatively. So you went from the outside face and then went up. Right. If you started from the inside face and went out, it would start at 430 and then get wider. Yep. So it actually give you more clearance the further down you went. And so we just put the pedal to the metal and we just sat and just put ideas uh, onto paper and into CAD for like a good six or eight hours straight. We were having a lot of trouble getting a solid error-free cam groove model that was good enough to 3D print for a function test. That's the noise of the computer just shitting the bed. Yeah. What my team and I eventually figured out was the best approach was to model a tube, then cut the cam groove into that tube, followed by extruding the rest of the part around it and removing the extra material. By any chance, do you guys have uh, toothpicks? There might be some in the uh, downstairs kitchen. <laughs> no, I'm curious. What about Super Bowl? What the f are you doing to that EBR? Don't dude? worry about it, dog dude. <laughs> I have all my tools, I guess. Super glue is not one of them. Oh shit, wait. What about a pipe wrench? A pipe wrench? A pipe wrench, yeah. I've got like a torque wrench pliers. Like Any clues on that one? No clue. Is he gonna stick a toothpick in as is he trying to get the firing pin out? I'm just, I don't need any of that shit. I'm just trying to really just the corner. <laughs> I expect a few Well, that's an interesting design. <laughs> oh yeah, that's called, uh, I broke the model and now I'm trying to fix it. Well, the, the oh little God. notch was backwards, not everything was backwards. Uh. <laughs> Control Z like a billion times, it'll be good. That's Anybody? called your CNC crash. Yeah, right? Yeah. Well, Have you ever seen a bad <laughs> tool crash? Like, yes. Like, awful yes. noises, explosions. Yes. We had a we had a tool crash into like CPM four V and it, it was like a grenade went off. It was bad. Because that steel is just so hard and so if their if their code goes AWOL and senderoos a, a tool into part. We got a mock up of the bolt with a cam lug on it and a mock up of the cam groove on the bolt carrier done. The bolt now rotates. The things that we're really close on, we've got to take this wall, this little bit of wall off here so that it can actually fit in the receiver. And then our angle is just the tiniest bit off, um, that, which is partially because we had to sand the bottom down. And so we've got to reprint that and that's currently re or about to start reprinting just now. They're gonna get some plywood over there and just <laughs> slap their cotton balls on it and it'll work better than ours. <laughs> we are this close. So we had a... Uh, oh, son, a, son of a bitch. Actually, what? When, when this three, when it was <clears> printed, <throat> the roller lug there was malformed, right? So we right. smoothed it out. All right. That is the problem that we're running How into. How much did it alter the diameter? Oh, it, I mean, it's, it's not even circular. Yeah. It's like yeah. elliptical. Is that a lug or the groove secure? Oh, son of a bitch. So. Okay. This rotates, mm -hmm. and it's it's, it's not quite to where it, it needs to come back just the tiniest bit more, and that's just because of the lug. Our plan of attack is to remodel this, mm -hmm. put a hole straight through there, and then 3D print kind of like a. Oh, bearing that's smart. That's that really smart. In, okay. That just drops in, and that's going to be perfectly circular. Yeah, just like the way you would actually make it instead of right. trying to mold it on yeah, exactly, exactly. the cylinder. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice. And so then, here, just as a proof of concept, it does lock in. It's it, pretty. pretty it's pretty cool. So, I think that we're gonna be done tonight, honestly. Um, Son of a fucking bitch. Well. But, drops in. On a, well, yeah, no, there's no way to get it. Then, through the back. All right, and rotates all the way and locks all the way in. Mm -hmm. Then, comes back. Hold on, one second. Push it forward again. 
So yeah. Okay. So, so you know what is that is right there? What? That is exactly what we did the first time we did this. Because that is not fully locked. The bolt's not fully locked yet. How so? Uh, your dwell time that you uh, put into that mm -hmm. is it's too much. No, you're not even in it. So what the candidates are confusing is their dwell time, which is the distance that the bolt carrier can travel rearward before the bolt starts to cam, is actually the wall distance between the sides of their cam groove. You see, their bolt isn't actually fully locked yet. They think it's their dwell time, but it's actually just the tolerance that they have between the sides of the middle of their cam groove, which is exactly what we did in the first place, which is kind of funny to see that problem cropping up again, but still just as painful for the poor candidates. But there it is. I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm super impressed. Let's print this bitch. Genuinely, like at the start of the day, that's about what I had in my head. And just the fact that we were able to perfectly get there is really satisfying. <laughs> Just, it's just fighting CAD the whole way. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Kicking and screaming. It's pretty good. It's flat there and it's flat there. And look, it's actually lined up pretty good. It's still a little bit off, but not nearly as much as it was. Yeah. Is that, no, that's not a new one, is it? No. Yeah, not a new bolt, it, but it's, it's the, the new. Okay. Yeah. New uh, receiver piece, cam, uh, cam. Cam group. Yeah. I think that, that should be fun. I mean, whatever details there is going to be lost in the 3D print. True. No, I'm just making is, sure. No matter what, this is going to be a motherfucker to print anyway. 